Well, the NFL on EA Sports has moved across the Atlantic to the capital city of London, England. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the Chicago Bears and the Seattle Seahawks. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and we are underway here in London this taken in about four yards deep and this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25 And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Foles, eluding the pressure right. He'll get that complete to the tight end, Harris. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. Taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Yes! 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Throwing again on second down. Foles got a man. It's Patterson complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves them just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. On third down, Patterson. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Here's Foles. Find Davis, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Well, how about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? zone could he get his feet down no it's incomplete once again they'll go from the 23 yard line on second and ten here's 
motion play fake as they set up to throw. On the move to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up... Third down. Brings up third down and ten. <laughs> Trubisky to throw again. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. He's got the first down inside the ten. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. These type of plays are backbreakers for our defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. the shotgun is Trubisky. Flush to his right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there, but it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Patterson on the carry. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? That is caught at the seven-yard line. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Try and throw for it with Trubisky. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Demetrius Harris there to make the grab. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a lead down there, and this will stay a six-point ball game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Tyler Lockett now with a return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. 
No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Now he'll let it go on the run, deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it, and that will force a turnover on downs. They go play action. Trubisky, he'll buy some time right. And this will be caught by Mooney, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he spins free. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we're looking at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. It's now fourth and goal. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Fourth down, it's Trubisky. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. And he will take it on out to the 20-yard line. Right now! Right now! Well, right definitely now, with some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Here's the first carry for Bo Scarborough. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. And he is such a tough quarterback to defend because you got to remember, arguably, he's more dangerous outside the pocket than he is in it. But how about the job they did defensively to stay with the receiver and knock the ball away? I think they had a sigh of relief there because oftentimes when he gets outside the pocket, big plays result downfield. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone, and he can't hang on. 
And that's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one goes for 30 yards. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. Buying time to his left. And it's caught, and he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. 22-yard touchdown grab as the Bears push further out in front. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. For the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal and maybe more. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And this will make it into the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At their own 17 yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. 
but typically halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution, or do they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Throwing is Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good for 28 yards. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. To his left. Uncorks one for Davis. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Yes. And he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. If you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, Bye -bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Block at the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. They're on 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. And got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 33 yards that time. Now Wilson, dancing to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard, and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish. Not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. <laughs> you were waiting for that. Probably should have left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this one is incomplete. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky eluding the pressure right. And they'll go back to Robinson. This time he's got him. And he'll be out right at the 35. That one good 
for a first down pickup of 18 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. They need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Here's Trubisky to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Bobby Wagner, multiple times in all pro, in there to drop him for a loss. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky, throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Now Trubisky on third and long, flush to his right. Hill, oh, this is taken in, it's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Escaping the pressure right. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. That's complete to Mooney. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards and the first down completion. Brings up second and two. To throw again on second down. Trubisky. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Bears are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throw again, Trubisky. This is caught, and he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. From four yards out, and the Bears continue to pour it on. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside, who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And the lead will swell by one more. Cairo Santos set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. 
seven yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here, but you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. throw again. Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf. And it's third down. Eluding the pressure right. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes. No points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. Open man is Gordon complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Now Wilson on first down. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Eddie Jackson picks it. as he brings us all the way back to the 25-yard line. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> for, for you, I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> and that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Play action. It's Trubisky. Steps away. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he's going to look that one in one-handed. What a catch for the touchdown. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. For the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. 
They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Now Scarborough. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. He's going to let it fly. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Kyle Fuller. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Allen Robinson, kiss him goodbye. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one better than 20 miles an hour. Santos now to add the PAT. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Another attempt now from five yards further back. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Seahawks, nothing. Cairo Santos set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Block at the return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Seahawks take over first and 10. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And some space here. Look at the spin. Balance. Oh, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. Yeah, and I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. That is caught. Inside the five. But he's dead inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. Flushed. Now Trubisky lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. He's at the 50, the 40, he's at the 30, 10. Well, there you go from red zone to red zone on that fumble return. It's amazing how fast things can turn around, isn't it? I mean, it looks like one team's driving, got everything taken care of. All of a sudden, the ball's on the ground or popped in the air, and whoosh, 
There you go in the other direction. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give him credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you get you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. Seahawks 7. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. For the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. They go play action with Trubisky. This one caught by Davis. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher if guys trying to get to the football. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Out of the gun, Trubisky. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Trubisky going to throw. Flush to his right. He'll get that complete to the tight end, Harris. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. to throw again. Fighting Harris over the middle. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. At the Seahawks' 23-yard line. Hey, 
Looking to throw again on second down. Trubisky. 